Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm back again. I'm back with uh, the second part of the show. And then I've just picked up that uh, Shakes is struggling with the network. And then I see that last one is also not having managed to come in. So network is a problem, especially after this load shedding. We're having issues with networks. So I hope they'll be able to connect while we are still continuing the show. Let me remind you that my name is the Sobri Boys, who are the fancy from the Big R. And then we are doing the sports program with you. Now, um, today being um, a Saturday, and then uh, we know that um, there's a whole lot of football in Africa. Uh, there's a whole lot of football um, in, 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 in other parts of the world. Uh, here at home, we have the big game between uh, Orlando Pirates and Amazulu for the NetBank Cup. So we're going to see what's going to happen. Remember, we are talking that Amazulu, they have issues uh, in terms of um, Sitebe. There's a whole lot of things happening around it uh, in the background. So I just wonder whether that will affect them. We'll see this afternoon how that is going to affect Amazulu and uh, Benny McCarthy. Will he be able to, you know, exact his authority? And it's very interesting. It's not only Benny McCarthy who wants to exact his authority. I saw that Xavi in, in, in Spain, uh, he met the board of directors because he wants to use Usman Tembele. Uh, although the president of uh, Barcelona feels that, no, 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 he should not be used. Uh, he's not grateful to the team. But at the same time, you need to balance. Do you want to have a player who's not happy? Or what is it? What is it? So I don't know. Uh, maybe out there you can decide. Uh, last one, welcome to the show. I see that network was giving you a problem as much as Shakes has just indicated that he's struggling to connect because of network. Yes, uh, just greet the viewers. I had already started. Yes, no, um, afternoon to the viewers. Uh, and yeah, thanks for having me, Mr. Shabalala. Um, yeah, looking forward to the part two of the show. Yeah, um, look, let's start here. I had already spoken about Amazulu and Orlando Pirates. Now, we know that uh, um, during the week, we saw one of the beautiful football uh, between uh, Cameroon and Egypt. In fact, it was the final before the final. Uh, and that game lived according to expectation. What was your take uh, as far as that game is concerned? I know that I want us to look at the final tomorrow. What was your take about the game that played uh, between Cameroon and uh, Egypt? Yes, um, yeah, it was a very interesting game. Very, very uh, 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 beautiful football uh, 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 all around, you know. Um, the quality of football that was played within that match was very, very brilliant. And Cameroon, honestly, they were the favorites, to be honest. I was also actually, I was, I was uh, behind Cameroon, to be honest, you know. But they should have killed that game a long time ago. They had so many chances. Cameroon should have won that game. Uh, 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 on, 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 on a clear state, actually, um, they are not even supposed to go to penalties in that game, you know. Um, but I don't know, Egypt maybe could say they were the underdogs because they never really seemed or looked promising within this tournament, even now, you know. I'm just surprised that they've managed to go all the way. I thought Cameroon was actually going to go all the way and just take this tournament, you know. But as I'm saying, they could have killed that game a long time ago. They were the better team. They had they had the more uh, the most chances within that game. But yeah, I mean, this is football. If you don't take your chances, you will regret uh, 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 why that you didn't take the chances. And yeah, um, this okay. is football at the end of the day. Okay, let's move on. Uh, when I analyze that game. I think it was experience that counted most. Egypt have shown that they are very experienced, especially when it comes to this tournament. Remember when they win this one, it will be for the eighth time, all right? Uh, there will be now 
you know, going closer to the record of Real Madrid in terms of the champion. Um, uh, well, when you talk about uh, continent, not necessarily the clubs, uh, it's, it's, I think this is be like a record for them to win it for the eighth time, the continental uh, tournament. Uh, I think experience showed there uh, that uh, you know um, you know they could pull through, and 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 for me it was like a boxing match. I saw that that uh, game just like Mayweather. You know they say if you don't flow Mayweather between one and five, and as the rounds uh, get older he becomes stronger and stronger. That's what I saw. At the beginning of the game, Egypt were, were found wanting, but as the game progressed, they became stronger and stronger and stronger. And then I saw Cameroon players were showing signs of fatigue because I think they wanted to kill the game right from the beginning. Uh, and they they, have, they they invested a lot into that game, wanted to kill it, all right? And then as time goes on, as they were missing, and then they were starting to tire up. So that is, that I think that's what happened. And I could see even someone at the in the stand, he was showing whole lot of signs of uh, 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 stress. Um, and we are told that he came with the squad in the bus. He didn't came, uh, he walked, he, he traveled with them so that he can motivate them. So that's what I, 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 I saw. Now, tomorrow, Senegal versus uh, Egypt. So what's your take? Yeah, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big one again, you know, as as they've labeled it already, it's, it's money versus Salah tomorrow, you know. Uh, it's a big final. Um, Two of the most, two of the best, actually, African footballers currently, you know, number one and two are playing against and amongst each other, actually, tomorrow. Teammates as well uh, within the respective team, uh, Liverpool, you know. Uh, it's a big final. Uh, I'm with Senegal with this one, you know. Senegal, I, uh, I still say Egypt haven't convinced us during this tournament, but it's a matter of experience, as you were saying, you know, but they haven't convinced us that they are, are the favorites to win this tournament, you know. We're all still shocked that they've managed to go all the way, um, but Senegal, uh, on the other hand, have proven to us, you know, um, they've been scoring goals, more than three goals in the past four games within the tournament, so uh, they know what they have to do. Um, as Mane did say at the beginning of the tournament, he actually did predict that uh, he will be meeting uh, us in the final, you know. And he says that they will be winning by a goal to zero, you know. A video of his was trending, you know. Uh, he shot the video uh, just before the tournament started, you know. So it's good that he has the confidence. He looks happy. Um, yeah, for me, Senegal is a team to watch in the final. But anything can happen. It's a big final, you know. So we cannot write off Egypt. They are very. They are also a very good side, you know, and with a lot of quality. So yeah, it's it's going to be a very open game, very attacking game uh, that we're going to see. So yeah, I really can't wait to watch that final. Wonder whether were you watching the same game that I watched between Cameroon and and Egypt? Because I saw a whole lot of good signs. Yes, they started not well, uh, Egypt but now they are getting stronger and stronger. That win during the week, I can tell you, it has uh, motivated them immensely. I saw them being very, very dangerous. If you ask me, well, my heart may, may say, my heart may say, I would like to see Egypt winning because Pito is there. Uh, Roger Desa is there. I, I would say that, but at the same time, I, I have a soft spot for for Senegal, uh, just on the basis that Sane, Sane, Mario, the the the, the player Sadio that Mane. Uh, Sadio Mane, yeah, Sadio Mane is a very good person. You know what I like about him? He says one of his dreams is to build a hospital in Senegal. 
because where 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 he's coming from, there was no hospital, and then people struggled. You, you know, I like people with that commitment of development. It's not only him, uh, as I've mentioned before, Didier Drogba has done a lot for the people in, in his country. So uh, on the basis of that, uh, I can say, yes, probably that may sway me and, and, and say, uh, if they win, that would be good, especially for Sadio Mane. Uh, but uh, may the best team win between the two, uh, will support whoever wins and then uh, go and represent us um, uh, outside uh, in, the, in the world stage. So, and that's it. That's what I would say. Now, um, I want to share something with you. Very, very interesting. Um, remember, uh, in England, uh, if I ask you now, who's the best team, you know? You'll tell me something, all right? Uh, but I watch uh, Sky Sports um, not long. They were analyzing the recent history of uh, you know uh, English football. The picture is very different, all right, in terms of the owners. Right? Remember, you have uh, the the Glazers owning Man United. Uh, you have. Um, various owners owning various teams and now and then they were analyzing their performance what have they brought into the english football this is something that i would like to share with you so maybe you'll also enjoy uh, this this piece um i hope you see this one last one very interesting um okay uh, very interesting. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. Um, now, see the picture. Whoever thought that Roman Abramovich, the Russian guy who's owning Chelsea, uh, he has won 18 titles ever since he came to uh, uh, Chelsea. And then uh, the Abu Dhabi United Group, who are owning Man City, they are at number two with 13 titles, together with uh, the Glazer family, who are owning Man United, uh, with 13, 13 uh, 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 titles or trophies. And then, um, then you have uh, J.W. Henry and Tom Werner, who are owning Liverpool with five trophies, all right? And then you have the, um, the Shraddana Pra, Prababa family who are owning uh, Leicester City, two titles. Remember I spoke to you about Leicester City earlier on when we were speaking about uh, uh, your Kaiser Chiefs uh, that they don't want to spend. I said Leicester City, they don't spend much, but here they are. They have so far done well, even ahead of Arsenal, all right? And Arsenal has been in the top flight for as many years as I can remember, ahead of Leicester City. And they're ahead of Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur with two titles, when Tottenham Hotspur and Arsenal having only one each. So, uh, this was very interesting. I found it very interesting that uh, Chelsea is on top. Uh, but when you talk, uh, in most cases, we mention your know, Man United, uh, Man City, or Liverpool. But look at the, the, the real picture. Numbers don't lie. As I always say, numbers don't lie. Uh, last one, I wonder whether are you still struggling with your network? And then... Um, I wanted to hear your comment as far as this is concerned. But uh, while you are still trying to connect with me, last one, um, I want to say to you, um, um, the news from uh, France, I don't know, um, I still believe that there is a whole lot of campaign against Messi. They are trying to unsettle him. Uh, there's a whole lot of news. Uh, they say he's not happy. I've heard the news that the fans, they say, let Messi go. 
I don't know. And then uh, the other thing is, um, I hear the president of, um, what is this? The president of, um, um, the president of uh, the, uh, the former, the former president of Barcelona is uh, saying that uh, um, Mbappe has already signed with, uh, with uh, Real Madrid. So we'll watch the space. Um, I don't know what's, what's your take, um, but for me, if really Mbappe has gone to Real Madrid and he's gonna get a lot of money, uh, well, it's good uh, for him uh, because just like we're talking about September, uh, September that uh, make money while uh, uh, you're, you're still doing well. So I don't see anything wrong. Yes, it would be nice to see Mbappe, Neymar and, and Messi playing, playing together. Although we haven't seen uh, much from, from the trio. Uh, so if Mbappe goes to Real Madrid, why not? He's going to play with Vinicius Jr. there. And then uh, Madrid will come up and rise again to be the force to be reckoned with as they've always been a force to be reckoned with. So those are some of the news. Now quickly, let me rush to the Messi special because I noticed that uh, um, uh, Tsepang is, is, is struggling uh, with um, uh, you know, him coming to, to the party. Now, um, I just want to look at um, what you call, I just want to look at, um, um twenty twenty one uh let's see let's see let's see uh, because i still don't believe how did it came about um that um, messi did not win uh, that title of 2021 because i still believe that messi has done very well so i want to share something with you uh, just to prove a point that messi was the best in 2021 so let me share this quickly. Uh, Tsepang, I'm doing the message special. In 2020, this was the picture. In 2020. Um, in 2020, the most uh, goal scorer for a single club was Pele with 643. And then uh, the most goal in a single league, it was Pele for 68. Most goals in major finals, Pele again. Most trophies for a single club, it was Ryan Kicks, 34, most head trick in, in history, Pele, six, uh, most appearances in El Clasico, Gento, 42, most goals for, you, you see, you have different people, uh, you know, dominating as far as that is concerned. Um, in, in, um, uh, in, in, in 2020, but now if we go to, um, 2021, um, uh, 2021, let's see. Um, hence, I kept on saying, uh, you know, the argument that uh, uh, Messi was not deserving to be the football of the year. This is the scenario in 2021. Uh, and I'm still asking myself, why he could not be a FIFA player of the year in 2021? Most goals in major history was Messi. Most trophies, Messi. Uh, Con Conem Ball, international history, Messi, seven. Uh, Hattrick. And then most appearances in Classico, Messi, uh, 45. Sepang, I see that you're struggling with your network. Uh, I had already moved to the Messi special. So we are about to close. So Yes, no uh, problem. No, I'm looking at them now. Yeah, I still... Uh, I've, I've shown in 2021 what was the scenario, all right? When you come to the most goals, you had all different players, your Geeks, your Pele, everybody was there. In 2021 only, by 2021, this, this is the picture. So hence, I still argue that FIFA, they still have to look at themselves. Why Messi did not become the FIFA Football of the Year? He has taken almost everything in 2021. Can you see that? Yes, yes, I can see. Uh, the most appearance for Barcelona, it's Messi. 
uh, most competition goals uh, for Argentina. It's missed the most freaky in 2021. You see, uh, they could be maybe another year where probably Messi did not deserve. Uh, but this, I think they, they had it wrong. They had it wrong in 2021. So I don't know. What's your take? Small one. Uh, last one. No, 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 no. Um, that's true. Um, his stats were phenomenal um, during 2021, you know? Um, I mean, uh, when it comes to stats, when we're looking at all the stats, mm. you know, and what he had contributed within that year individually, mm. I mean, that's what we know uh, the, what the, the award actually is actually made of, you know, individual when we're looking at individual results as a player, he has he had achieved a lot compared to as a team or as a club in terms of winning maybe a major competition with a team, you know. But individually, what he had done alone, I think that was something that um, was supposed to be considered, you know, because he had done all of those things individually alone. So it was really shocking maybe it's arguable, maybe, you know, but if you are seeing it from a different perspective, you know, um, I think maybe that's why a lot of people who could say that um, they were actually frustrated and disappointed when it, or when it went down to that decision of him not winning that award. Now, I, I'll always bring Ronaldo to the picture. Because always Ronaldo, when they mention Messi, the same sentence, there's Ronaldo coming in. Um, so last one, I hope you see this one, uh, the, 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 the picture that I've shared. And then when it comes to who's effective in international tournaments, Ronaldo has won uh, man of the series or man of the tournament, zero. All right, international player of the tournament. Messi has won four. All right? So I'll always bring this to, to the fore because I know that at all times uh, when, when Messi uh, picture is being said, and then uh, we'll also see Ronaldo coming to the picture. But I also want to prove it that Messi is fired, it's fired of Ronaldo. Uh, and then I'll continue to show this. If you have a different view, please come up with your view and give us statistics, give us the numbers, because numbers don't lie. Uh, last one, I see that you are struggling a lot, uh, especially after this load shedding, it has been very, very bad. And then, uh, yeah, we are struggling. Thanks for listening. Thanks for taking time to watch the show. And please continue to subscribe. And then please, may you kindly comment uh, so that we hear uh, what are your views. Remember, you sometimes, uh, not even sometimes, maybe in most cases, you may understand it better than us. So we want to hear your view so that we enrich ourselves. This is how people enrich themselves, by engaging. So engage us. Just tell us where we are going wrong. Tell us that here you're going wrong. If you do this, we'll improve, of course. Uh, will improve with time. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we really appreciate for you taking time to watch the show and listen to us. And until we meet again on Tuesday uh, morning. Thank you.